Spurs at 9 to 2. It's 8 to 1 Bardos. Amazingly, on the toe chip. So last one installed then for this group one corridor right clips, up. ten furlongs, full extent to the back straight, they jump away, now who is going to make the running, Hawkwill wants to, you can see his rider chasing along furiously, Forest Ranger jumped more alertly, Hawkwill being chased up and crucially Cliffs of Moher is right out the back, so if Hawkwill can get to the front, he might not find anyone to pester him, but Forest Ranger's holding the rail at the moment, behind those in the purple and white with the purple cap, Saxon Warrior alongside Happily, who now drifts back and eventually Hawkwill is going going to be allowed to cross to the rails by Forest Rangers rider who now sits in second place. Roaring Lion content to sit in fifth early on. Then in sixth is Raymond Tusk and right at the back is Cliffs of Moher. So Hawkwell had to invest a little bit to get to the lead but now he's out in front and now his stride trying to be checked by William Buick. Second for Forest Ranger who's moved one off the rails and is in about a length second place at the moment. Saxon Warrior in third. Happily next. Roaring Lion posted a little bit wide on the course as we head towards the turn Roaring Lion the Grey will be three deep into the bend, closer to the rails is Raymond Tusk and at the back of the pack is Cliffs of Moher, so Hawkbill now just trying to fill the tank but he's fighting the riders slightly on the front end, Forest Rangers had the perfect toe in in second so Saxon Warrior in third Raymond Tusk made ground round the bend but Roaring Lion who went into it in a share of fourth has dropped to the back of the field as Happily pulls out to the centre, heading for home then in the Eclipse, Hawkbill winds it up First, Forest Ranger in second, Saxon Warrior coming there strongly, Roaring Lion towards the outside, Happily's white cap just being pushed along, out in front, Hawkbill for the older generation, Forest Ranger now Roaring Lion and Saxon Warrior throw their hats into the ring, but Hawkbill still leads the Eclipse with over a furlong to go, Saxon Warrior and Roaring Lion poised in second and third, Cliffs of Moa stays on, Saxon Warrior in the centre, and the outside Roaring Lion coming to try and steal the Eclipse, Roaring Lion, Saxon Warrior on the inside look together, Roaring Lion moves to the front and on the day we all roar for the Lions, Roaring Lion wins the Eclipse for Oshin Murphy, second for Saxon Warrior, third Cliffs of Moher, in fourth place behind these was Hawkbill didn't see it out, then Happily and Boris Ranger drops out for last, revenge for Roaring Lion for the horse that beat him in the race.